Yes, that is um, that is a fact. Nigerian ladies have become very, very materialistic. Very, very. Um, it's not all, not to generalize, but um, the material plays a very, very big role, and the economy as well. Because a lady sees her beauty not as an opportunity to look for love, but as an opportunity to progress in life, to pay her rent. You know, back to Valentine's Day, a lot of ladies who maybe didn't get money to buy a new phone, to pay for their rent, to get some things where not so happy because Valentine's Day is an opportunity to meet some economic needs. So, yeah, things have become materialistic. Even for men, too. I wrote an article sometime last year, and I said the reason why a lot of ladies are single is because they don't have cars and they are not earning good salary. Because a man now doesn't want to marry a liability. Yes, men are very materialistic, especially men in Abuja and Lagos. Men are very materialistic. Men, a, you know, a man these days is going to ask you if you have a dual citizenship. So, you know, he can get a foreign passport <laughs> to move to another country. If you have a car, if you have a nice job, ask you for your father's last name, if there's some inheritance there for him. So things are becoming very tough for love. Love is suffering this day and age. The two sexes are preying on each other. Um, there are still a lot of people out there who are looking for true love. So how do we get true love? Um, some people who are looking for true love are still going to find true love. But um, I think it's very, very rare. It's very hard when you are looking for something and the thing is not looking for you back. Or you are looking for something and the thing is not giving you the attention you want back. So a man, for example, you are looking for true love, but the lady is looking for comfort and how to make her life you know better. So that's kind of tough. Yes, yeah, some people are very lucky to find both. They, um, they found a guy who's nice and who has money as well. So some people are very lucky to have them both. You know, that's why I always say, how do you know if I'm not married? I don't have to post my relationship on social media. I'm saving that uh, answer for later. I may not shock you people one day and say, I've been married for the past four years. You never know. Um, I think it's, it's um, natural for anybody who... If, if, if a lady is confiding in you for anything, if you are, if you are a lawyer and you are handling a lady's case, if you are a medical doctor and you are examining a lady's body, if you are a counselor or a psychologist, I think some ladies tend to you know, get emotional and have feelings for you. So in my own case, I've had a few advances, but um, I've been able to handle it very well because that's not going to end well for anybody. You know, but um, a lot of women, a, a lot of married women are not satisfied. That's one of the issues I talk about on my blog as well. A lot of married women are not sexually satisfied just because, in summary, their husbands are tired. Their husbands now want a variety. So they are left lonely. Some of them send me messages and say, my husband hasn't touched me in, uh, in six months. You know, my husband hasn't touched me in years, so it's quite uh, difficult, I must say, for a lot of women, especially the ones who don't want to cheat or have, you know, values, so they just suffer, 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 and pray for their husband to change. And this is like putting a lot of pressure on women as well, because you see a 50-something-year-old woman now trying to compete with a 19, 22-year-old girl so she's going to bleach her skin, she's going to do surgery, she's buying hair. And at the end of the day, some of them, it doesn't fit them. They just deform their body and they just look, you know, not really in a good way. So 
a lot of married women are facing neglect, basically. And that's also because I wrote an article sometime last year. There are no consequences for men cheating in Nigeria. I have friends abroad that when we go out in America, 9 p.m., their wife calls them. They are rushing home. Jero, let's start going home. I'm like, why? Because my wife is going to kick me out. My wife is going to take me to court, take the cars, take the house, take the kids. When well, Nigeria, you cheat, what's going to happen? There's no consequence. Little consequence. So men are, you know, enjoying themselves here. So it's, uh, it doesn't really favor the women. Mm -hmm.